Hey everyone, my name is Brandon Morgan and I am the instructor for our US-Mexico Borderlands course. I'm very excited for this class this spring and I'm looking forward to getting to know each of you and learning from all of your uh, ideas and insights on the construction, uh, the history, and the current situation of the border between the United States and Mexico. Uh, please don't hesitate to call me Brandon in your communications with me. As you can probably tell, I am recording this one at home, um, sitting in the dining room, uh, everyone's in bed, and uh, have a moment to, to do this kind of thing. Um, I typically am not able to work at home. Um, not a lot of space uh, for privacy, and uh, my wife and three kids are um, are you know usually here, and so it's it's not a place that I tend to work. I usually either go to my office at CNM's Westside Campus, which is not far from here, um, or a coffee shop, or something like that. Um, so if you uh, want to respond to my video here, uh, let me know where you are able to do your work, because I know that uh, online classes are sort of unique in that respect. Um, we're not in a classroom with each other, but we're wherever we can get on on our computers and find some peace and quiet. So. Um, we'll also be reading a lot, as you know, for uh, this class this semester. Um, I really want us to focus on um, the skill of, of uh, analytical reading, reading scholarly works, to not only kind of understand the historical narrative that's presented there, but to think about authors' methodology, the kinds of sources they use, and so on. So that's something that we will be focusing on a lot. The question that I asked us all to... Um, to respond to for this first introduction discussion board uh, was one that I saw from other um, uh, professors on Twitter. I follow a lot of digital pedagogy uh, hashtags and things like that and have been involved with people who are, are working in that field. And something that's really struck me about that field is how much the focus is on um, trying to bring the human out even though we are learning and speaking to each other through computers and through technology in online courses. Um, and so personally thinking back to a moment of kindness, my mind went to uh, my junior year as an undergraduate at Weber State University in Ogden, Utah. I was taking a course on the history of East Asia. Um, so different East Asian countries were all kind of surveyed in that course. And the professor was really great. Um, as I was, uh, as I took part in the history student group, he was someone I, I got to know fairly well, and he did a lot of uh, really unique student activities, bringing um, uh, Chinese and uh, Japanese figures, um, kind of cultural figures as well as academic figures to campus to speak, uh, doing film uh, film screenings and all of that kind of thing. Um, all these kinds of extracurriculars that. Uh, you know, were really great for engaging us with Asian history, which is something, again, in northern Utah, you don't necessarily um, have a, an easy way to engage with. Um, so I appreciated all of those things. But the moment that I remember is uh, taking a midterm for his course. Uh, the instructions were not as clear as I would have liked them to have been. And I did work that I thought was, um, you know, up to par uh, but then the response, the feedback I got back, uh, I, I earned a C, um, and he essentially told me that I hadn't really written enough, um, even though there was no kind of hard and fast length requirement for the assignment. Um, so I, I talked to him about that, let him know, and he gave me the opportunity to revise my work, which I did, um, and he actually called me. It was um, getting off work. I was working in a car dealership up there. And he gave me a call to, to let me know that he looked at my uh, revisions and um, he gave me some specific feedback about the assignment and said, you know, things had gone much better and I had earned an A. Uh, but the kindness, you know, I really appreciate him being willing to uh, rethink the way that he had presented us with the assignment, given me that opportunity to revise. Um, so that's one that really sticks out in my mind. Um, I'm interested to see what other kinds of or what kinds of experiences you all have had um, with professors, with other students um, in your journey through higher ed. Um, I was never 
a um, all online, well, I wasn't an online student at all um, when I did my undergrad or graduate work. Um, I've been an online student since um, completing my PhD um, and then have been an online instructor um, even more than that. So um, it's, again, a unique uh, opportunity with uh, unique challenges that uh, are not always easy to overcome. And so I hope that we can really emphasize the human connection in understanding our uh, the past as constructed at the point of the border this semester. So I will leave it at that. This is getting too long. Um, again, I look forward to meeting all of you, and I hope that you have a great start to the spring term.